Hi folks, this camera is really difficult when I um, go to fire. I have to take the battery out each and every time because uh, it doesn't turn off completely anymore since it fell in the water and tried to drown. Um, obviously it still functions because I'm shooting this video with it. But, um, and when I put the battery back in, now I have to, you know, skip over the time and the date and all that. And I very quickly have to start recording, so that's why the videos are always a little screwed up in the beginning, all movie and bouncy and all. And um, if I don't go quick enough, what happens, it says trying to connect to a USB, and it won't, and it locks up until I take the battery out and start by uh, putting the time and date and all that other stuff back into it. Also, the screen, that thing on the side, is all floppy. It flops back and forth. So, basically, this camera is getting harder and harder to use. Anyway, where are we? What are we doing? Um, it's a little after 1 o'clock. I don't know. Could you guys see that? I don't know. Could I see that? I think... Some of us could see it. Anyway, a little after 1 o'clock, still Monday the 7th, about 45 degrees up here, real nice day. So what am I up to? Um, and by the way, my batteries are still nice and charged, so we're all good. What am I up to today? Um, I dragged this Snapper 4 horse, 422 as it's called there, um, up to the upper driveway here up to the upper garage to work on it. It's the sun. I kind of like working in the sun, especially during the winter. It makes me feel like there's hope that spring will come again. Anyway, um, though there are probably many of you who may disagree with me, but uh, this snowblower is a pig. It's a complete and total pig. It's a pain in the ass to work on and it's really going to be very hard to do anything with, and I'm debating whether to just quit right now, move it over there, uh, or move it over there, and just forget about the whole thing. And let me tell you what's going on. What's obviously wrong with it is the pull rope's broken. You can see that, right? No pull rope, right? Nothing to pull on. So, in the olden days, and I'm probably dating myself quite a bit, used to be right here, you would take out four bolts, one, two, three, four, and take the starter right off. Well, that's not the way it works anymore. Now, you gotta take off the engine trowel. To get off the engine trowel, I had to take off these bolts, loosen the gas tank up, and take off two bolts on the side. No big deal, homie could do that. But then you gotta loosen the engine up because the shroud is tight on the bottom and it won't come out. So with that, I said, okay, homie will loosen the engine up. And now it's still tight, so I had to go over here to the belt drive side. Once I went over to the belt drive side, I realized that this is one of those special engines. And by special, I mean it not only has the main drive, but it also has the uh, two-to-one reduction here that um, that's that, that where my pull, where my finger is on this pulley, that's basically an extension of the camshaft that turns in the opposite direction, and they use that to drive the wheels. So, looking at the snowblower, it was part of a package deal, and I really didn't think I was going to do too much with the motor anyway. I was considering putting one of those Harbor Freight motors on there. One of those $99 specials. If you get them on a super coupon, they go down to $89. Bucks. Uh, right now, they're selling the Predator version, I guess. Uh, six and a half horse. Well, I was kind of thinking I'll throw one of those on here. You know, it's a nice unit, all nice and clean. Yeah, that'll work. Um, but with that double shaft, the Predators don't have an extension hanging off their camshaft. Um, right in that nice spot to make everything go, which puts me back to making this engine run. Um, it doesn't appear to be seized, right? I, I seem to to be able to turn it. Um, but now to do anything, I got to take it completely off and uh, go on from there. I'm also, as I'm fooling with it, the reason why it's so tight is this um, this belt is tight. And no matter what you do with the traction clutch, it seems to stay tight. So 
I'm afraid to guess how many how much time I'm going to put into this pig before I I finally realize that it's a complete and total loser and have to give up on it. Um, I really can't turn things, until I get the motor off, I really can't turn things all that well to determine what kind of shape the impeller and the drive system is in. The unit looks low miles. I mean, the muffler looks low miles. I mean, none of the knobs are really beat up too bad. The chute, I mean, the paint's all, all intact. Um, it doesn't look like it was used for throwing rocks. Given that the skitters are all the way up, my guess is it was used on a blacktop driveway. Um, I believe I bought it from a teacher who repaired lawn equipment on the side, and I think he said, I think the words he said, I got it from somebody at work, which means it probably belonged to a teacher. Um, you, you know, and this is something else that could be debated, but generally speaking, teachers take halfway decent care of their stuff. They don't, they don't try to, uh, to do stupid things like, you know, tow kids around the property on the back of their snowblower. So, uh, you know, normally from that point of view, they're pretty good. Um, once again, it's not seized, but it's kind of like, how far do I go on this rig before I, uh, I pack it in? Anyway, I'm Trying to catch up on videos. I've been a little bit slow. In the front of the house, the golf cart charges. Uh, the cat's back in its little foam box. And uh, I'm out back playing with this thing. I think I'm going to pull the motor off and take it the next half step. I, it's about another 15 minutes to get things loose. And then uh, from there, I'll make a decision what to do with it. Um... What I'm trying to do is I, I really need to clean up. I really need to make a space to work. I need to clean up. I need to get things going. And I really get frustrated about this and want to get moving on it in the winter because that's when I need the space to work. But in the winter, it's very hard to move things out and do and, you know, be able to get things uh, dealt with. So I'm always screwing myself up here with this horde. This horde is killing me. And my son added to the horde. Anyway, folks, remember, keep uh, the handlebars out of the snow, live, love, have a great time, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Hopefully, by the next episode, I'm making progress on something today.